always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. Listen up to this because we're getting set for a big warm up in the days ahead. Let's go ahead and get the latest information from Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier. Yeah, Ryan, we are getting set for some of those warmer conditions in the forecast for today, though. We still have to deal with some of that chill, that winter chill left over. Now you can see on your sportsman's forecast here, we're going to settle near that freezing mark. Some of us already below freezing, but we are going to look at some pretty clear skies for the morning time. Temperatures do start to climb there by 8 o'clock into the mid 30s, and we do have some gustier winds at times too, so a little chop on the water. Queen City of the Tesh Camera, New Iberia, atop the Community First Bank building right now, showing some pretty quiet conditions out there. A cold start to your morning though, 27 in Ville Platte, 33 in Opelousas, 35 in Jennings and Lafayette, 31 in Abbeville, and 32 in New Iberia. So definitely need the jacket as you head out the door, and you'll likely want it for the rest of today as we see more of that sunlight and temperatures coming up here into the mid 50s. That's about it for our daytime highs. We got that front that came through last night. That's adding those stronger winds in place and keeping it feeling a little chilly out there through the rest of your afternoon. And then tonight, we'll look at those temperatures falling back on off down to the mid 30s here north of I-10, closer to 40 south of the interstate. So still the possibility of some patchy frost, but likely not going to see a whole lot of that out there as that begins our warm up. Tomorrow, winds really switch out of the south and east 10 to 15 miles per hour. And look at what that does. Morning in the 30s, afternoon in the 70s in some spots as clouds begin to thicken on up. Eventually those clouds producing rain. In fact, that comes for your Thursday here. Starting off in the morning time, our future cast picking up on some of those showers. Uh, at first it starts off as just some light rain across the area, but going through the afternoon on your Thursday, these could become some thunderstorms and those begin to spread across the area there between 3 and 6 p.m. However, that rain chance kind of backs off during the nighttime hours, at least early on. But then we get to your Friday morning and look at this. A line of storms at times could be strong with heavy rain too. flooding possibilities with this moves on through. This model says it happens during the morning time and your Friday afternoon turns dry. Other models a little later with that rain. So for right now, we're just going to keep it storms likely for much of the day there on your Friday again. A possible severe threat, also some flood concerns too. We're going to watch that closely. A few lingering showers and storms on your Saturday morning. We'll see a dry day to turn the calendar into 2023. And then next Monday and Tuesday look to be pretty wet around the area too. So we go from cold to unsettled and warm in the days ahead. Followed by a little bit of rain. Why not uh, snow maybe next week? I don't yeah, know. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. <laughs> All right. Thank you as always, Adam.